Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, November 8th. And there is a story uh, that I like a lot that uh, it starts off the fifth chapter of the Gospel of John. And it is a, a miracle story, a healing miracle story about Jesus. And he's walking through Jerusalem one day and he passes by a place called the Pool of Bethesda. And, and there's a lot of uh, people who uh, hang out by this pool, uh, people with um, illnesses, physical ailments. And uh, it's believed that it, every day the, the waters in this pool begin to bubble and stir. And, and if you are the first person to get down to that pool, then you would be healed of whatever condition it is that you are suffering from. And, and it is believed to uh, happen this way because uh, an angel uh, comes down every day and stirs the water and put some holy healing powers into it. And But they only last long enough for the first person. And Jesus meets a man who has been uh, lying by this pool for 38 years, uh, paralyzed, couldn't walk. And uh, Jesus asks him, uh, do you want to be healed? And the man says, well, of course I do. But every day when the waters stir, I can't get down there and, and no one helps me. So I'm I'm never the first person in, so I'm never cured. And Jesus tells him, well, just get up and go home. And the man gets up and goes home. And it's, uh, it's quite an interesting story, especially the ending, of course, of the miracle that happens. Jesus just tells him to get up and walk, and the man does. It's, it's quite a miraculous ending. But it's the beginning of the story, I think, that uh, where the, the real miracle happens, the miracle that can still happen in our lives. It's, it's simply when Jesus shows up and, and the man tells him the story of what he has already decided the miracle would be in his life. He's already, already decided what healing would look like in his life. He's already decided that the only way he would be cured as he, if he was the first person to get down the, to the pool in front of everybody else, but somebody else always gets ahead of him. I think a lot of us think that way in life, that you know we've already decided what the end result should be. We've already told God, you know, I'm, I'm only going to believe in you, or I'm only going to believe in a miracle in my life if this happens, if X, Y, Z happens, then then I will see healing and then I will believe. I think God shows up in our lives so much earlier than that. Uh, Jesus comes to us and, and simply says, uh, you know, would you like to be healed? And if we simply say yes, then, then healing comes. You know, we often think healing uh, equates to cure and that cures are always some sort of medical cure. And and sometimes those things happen and sometimes they don't. You know, sometimes blind people see, sometimes people with back injuries get up and walk again, sometimes uh, cancer patients go into remission, but, but sometimes they don't. And have you ever noticed that we're always, we always sort of marvel at the people who continue to suffer the way that, that we define suffering, that somehow have this great internal uh, spiritual energy about them that, that we just wonder why and how can they can they feel that way and I think they've they've understood that uh, the the miracle of healing has already happened to them that they are now able to move through life a little differently and even though there may be discomfort physical or or even uh, mental or, or even spiritual that there's a new way that God has provided for us to, to move through life, to understand that our place in life is not dependent upon uh, physical perfection or, or even spiritual perfection. The healing that happens in our lives comes every day when we simply say yes to God. God bless you, my friends.